Om Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles, a great millstone. Salutation to you, Archeums, pushing this word in sincerity and truth. Shalom to you, few and faithful Aquats. This year is your brother Yassad, back at you with another lesson. We want to define to the spirit and power of how Bashem and Shai, you know. On this lesson here, you know, <coughs> really going into wait till you how Bashem and Shai rise up to the prey. Right? And also, I mean, yeah, we are not the curses. Daily we see these heathens over us, you know. They nod the head at us. They they they, they call us by our pro. Uh, they give us um by words, you know. They mock at us. They scoff at us, you know. That's why it's going back to lamentation. Um, the book of lamentation when I mother bring it out. Um, when we fell, you know, they rejoice. You know, they clap the hands. Let's see lamentations. Let us just a moment. Right, Lamentation 2 and verses 15, it says, All that pass by clap their hands at thee. They hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Jerusalem, saying, Is this the city that men call the beautification, the perfection of beauty, the joy of the whole earth? Because it's at a point in time where we rule, you know. We was in relationship in time of then in time of the dark races where we ruled Europe, you know. So when we fell, you know, they, 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 they was glad because I don't know we used to have these heathens in our order under the laws of Yahweh Shemir Shah, you know. So when we fell, it's all online enemies have opened their mouth against against us, you know. They had the worst to say, you know. They hiss and gnash the teeth. They say we have swallowed her up. You know, they laugh at us. Look at look at them now. You know? We we we, we had them naked. You know, we raping the woman. We even set the their, their woman against them. We destroyed the household. We put the men in prison. All these things, you know. <clears throat> We have swallowed her up. Certainly this is the day that we look for. So they, they, they always had that. They always had had that dream of uh, uh, putting us down below their feet. You know? Like why they would stunt on us. You know? They having the brand new vehicles. The, the best house. The best job. You know? And they would look at us like as shit. As nothing upon the earth. When... The earth was given for our, the, the, the earth is for our sakes, the elect's sake, you know. And so we have swallowed up, certainly this is the day that we look for. We have found, we have seen it. Yeah. Hmm. Because, you know, we we went off and sinned against Yahabashim and Shai, so... He put us in this position. But although, you know, the heathens are above us and all these things, you know, we is not to take, we is not to take, you know, um, avenge for that. You know, we is not to be doing as other camps, walking about with guns, with a big stick in the hand, you know, preaching, preaching and all these things, you know, that I ain't even called for, you know, but, you know, the meek going on in here, the earth, so the meek, the humble, gonna wait upon you, how Bashem you know, as 
um, C and Neboka Maika seven. Neboka Maika seven and verses nine. It says, "I will bear the indignation of of Yahweh because I have sinned against Him." You know, so we're gonna bear the elect. We're gonna bear the the the, the trials that that the Lord sent for us, the curses, you know, our women being over us, you know, our enemies, you know, on on top and we brought down very low, you know, our our um wives being a demon and an enemy unto us, being cursed in the field, you know. <clears throat> we had to go to our adversary, our enemies and the want of all things. We subjected to payments, all these things. We're gonna endure it. We're gonna bear the indignation of Yahweh because I have sinned against him until and that is it. It's about waiting until Yahweh Bashim is shy. Because the priest that say the same one that that you know pray through all of these things is by himself you're gonna be delivered. I may be roughly paraphrasing the scripture wrong, but you know is like to that line uh you know that is literally similar to what the precepts say you know the same one who put you through all of this is gonna redeem you gonna deliver you out of it it's until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me he will bring me forth to the light and i shall behold his righteousness so it's all about waiting on your how about shame you know we cannot avenge ourselves even self if we all with the so called get together, you know, come together as so called black people and try to fight against the the, the heat heat but still lost because why? You know our weapons, our warfare is not carnal and, and we still wouldn't win that carnal fight against the so called white man, he so he dumb. Because that is his his blessing, you know, the sword. By the sword shall thou live, Genesis 25, you know. So we still could not be able to win that battle against him. Our help, our, you know, comeback is to Yahweh Hashem and Shai. Uh, and we get the book of Romans. So we is not to re revenge yourself, you know. We can just endure, have patience, stay strong in the word until Yahweh Hashem and Shai, you know. Rise up to the prey. Uh, I'll bring that scripture just now, you know. Romans 12 and 19 It says Dearly beloved avenge not yourselves So again we not supposed to be having guns You know a big stick while we reaching And watching Esau them hard With we pan screw and all these kind of things, you know, the Lord tell us not to avenge ourselves. So we not to be going looking to because the heathens on top of we, we go, you know, want to have rabs with them, to confront them, you know, to fight them, and all. We ain't have to do all these things. Let's say, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, vengeance is mine. Here, yeah, vengeance is Yahweh Shem Yashai's own. I will repeat, say it, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yashai. Yeah. So the Lord, <coughs> but Yahweh, by Hashem, Yashai, is going to fix these nations. You know, it's just patience. We had to bear the indignation that is brought upon us by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yashai, because we sinned against Him. I'm going to get here. Uh, Zephaniah 3 and 8 you know so okay, Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 8 therefore wait ye upon me and that is the point you know wait upon you how about shame you shy because even you know regardless the prophecies you know the prophecies they 
they wouldn't just happen boom tomorrow all the prophecies happen but as the the ecclesia the the book uh is it that second as just four let's see if i see it second as just chapter four Right. Four and verse thirty seven it says by measure he measured the times and by number he numbered the times and he doth not move nor stir them until the said measure be fulfilled. So for example the prophecy, you know, the time for the Lord to deliver us and, and take these heathens off of the tune, it wouldn't come until what? Oh, it 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 said measure be fulfilled the time the time period at that to accomplish it could only come when the time is right you know so that is why the key is waiting on your how about shamir shayan how we wait on him by what you know keeping the laws statutes and commandments you know feeding the flock doing what he commanded us you know Waiting patiently until Yahweh Bashem is shy, you know, until he comes. You know, uh, standing firm in the truth without wavering until, you know. Um, was right. Zephaniah 3 and verses 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith Yahweh. Until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations. That I may assemble the kingdoms. To pour upon them by the dignation. <coughs> so like yeah. So it's, it's up to you how about Shem you know. And this year is, is, is a prophecy that will come to pass. Because none of the Lord's word is going to return void on him. So we can trust in him. You know the the scripture in um I think it's second Peter where the Lord say either second Peter or first Peter where where the Lord say you know he not slack you know consider his promise as men count slackness you know <clears throat> but hey the Lord will the Lord's word will come to pass as it's in um Isaiah forty six and ten. He declared the end from the beginning and he will do all his pleasures, you know. That I would assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Yes, yeah, so the Lord haven't forgotten what you nations did, you know, and he will repay because you see, he will wait till you rise up to the prey you know <clears throat> wait wait till you know you how much you know shall ready to address these things so we could only be as 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 um as sheep waiting till the, 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 the shepherd to you know to put things in place for us We got a few more precepts to close off, you know, just a, a quick, you know, quick one. Um, yeah, let's see. The book of Isaiah 41 and 14, let's see. Fear not, the womb Jacob, the men of Israel, I will help thee. Say to Yahweh and the Redeemer, say to Yahweh and the Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. You know? Yeah, so we, we also fear not. shy as it's saying um 
Second Corinthians. Because without you, how about Shemir Shai, we is nothing. Our army is, is, is nothing. Second Corinthians 10 and verses 3. It says, For we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. So although we walk in, you know, we have on the fleshly body, we 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 not into the the the, the, the war in against you know Esau Edom in this flesh. Hmm. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Because the elect men they we don't use, you know, guns and shield and, and these things to to to, to fight against you, Esau Edom. We use what? You know, our spiritual gifts. Right? Prayer, fasting, you know, the, these are our tools, you know, to fight against all your, your, your witchcraft, your sorcery, your wickedness in high places, you know. Um, it's about mighty, it's a for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through your power, and that is it. The key point is through your power, Hashem and Shai. To the pulling down of strongholds, and this is how we're gonna conquer you. Show you how about Shem you know. Uh, another one here. We look at Psalm 68. Sixty-eight and verses are uh, thirty thirty-two. It said to him that rideth upon heavens of heavens, which were of old, lo, he doth set out his voice, and that a mighty voice. Hmm. You know, which this would be referring to Yahweh, or Yahweh Shai, you know, because Yahweh is the, is the Almighty, and, and he, 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 he to his son, because even well, um, when Yahushai making his appearance as his son, he gonna send upon the face of the earth to, 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 to bring forth judgment upon the earth, just as in the time of Egypt, you know, with the death angel, it was Yahushai he sent. Ascribe ye strength unto Yahweh, his excellency. His strength, excellency or, or strength, is over Israel. So he is our protector. He is our tower. You know, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run it into it and is safe. And his strength is in the clouds, you know. Another one of his strength being the, the chariot, you know. Just as, you know, I did a video day before yesterday. Um, that you could only fool the simple you saw either. The chariot of the Lord is indestructible. It's a spiritual vehicle and you you cannot even destroy one. As your same pilot say, it is beyond mankind's, you know, uh, intelligence. It defies gravity, you know. It don't need wings and 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 a, a whole system or you don't even run on gas none of these things to move it is just move like a ping pong ball being hit going any direction any any speed you know oh yeah how thou art terrible out of his holy out of thy holy places the power of israel is he that giveth strength and power unto his people so is yahweh that gives us the strength you know, just as as in the wars back then, you know, as as um there was a uh, when David went to fight the Philistine, you know, but me just a moment, you know, slack. Um, let's see, First Samuel. Right, first Samuel seventeen and forty five. Because what look at what David said. You know, because our strength is how Bashem Shai gives his people strength. 
1 Samuel 17 and 45. Then said David, I'll start at verses uh, 41. And the Philistine, which is Goliath, came on and drew near unto David, and the man that bare the shield went before him. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him. For he was but a youth and ruddy, and of a fair countenance. And the Philistine said unto David, Am I a dog, that thou comest to fight me with staves? <laughs> so Goliath was, Goliath laughed, being a giant, being proud, you know. A big, way bigger than David, strong, you know. So he he mocked David. He feel like a dog. He come to fight against me with staves. And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. And the Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I will give thy flesh unto the fowls of the air, and to the beasts of the field. So the, 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 the Philistine Goliath taunt him. Come, you know, I will, I will kill you, I will feed you to the fowls, X, Y, and Z. Then David, to, then said David to the Philistine, and this is the point here. Thou comest to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield, but I come to thee in the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yerushai, power of hosts, the God of armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. Can. And that is the point because Yahweh by Hashem Yerushai is our strength. He will deliver us. As it say, you know, um, Surely, Lord, know to deliver the the the, the um, godly out of temptation. Well, hey, you know, with, with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai, Ba'asham, Yahushai, Hope this little edi lesson was edifying. You know, double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutation to Joachims. Until the next one, Shalom.